how's everyone doing? Welcome to the Kite Building Expo here at the Ward Museum. My name is Neil Hooks. Uh, this is my son Hendrix Hooks and my daughter Libby Hooks. They're my apprentices, my faithful assistants. Uh, we are Eastern Shore natives, grew up in Pocomoke City, uh, local musician as well. Uh, we live up in Annapolis now, but my father used to run the Kite Coop and bookstore on Shinkatig Island. So uh, we spent a great deal of time flying kites and assembling kites. Um, so today we're kind of going to go over how to put together these cute little kites. Here kids, this is a simple project here. Down the road we'll do some more projects with the Ward Museum where we get a little more involved with kite making. But um, for this one what we're going to do is we're going to go over a little bit of anatomy of a kite briefly. Uh, just so we know what we're talking about here. So with the kite, this very front point is called the nose, just like on your face. Uh, makes a lot of sense there. And then you've got these, the, the front edge of the kite, that's called the leading edge uh, on either side of the nose coming down. And then what you have here running down this length of the kite is called the spine. And this piece, you know, I'm tangled up here. This piece for the assembly of this kite, it already comes attached, so it's actually really quite convenient. It's already tied on, so basically you're just going to put it into the, the little holes here on the nose and where the tail begins. So that's the spine, and it runs the, the long way of the kite. Then what we have here, which also comes in your pack, this is, uh, this is called the spreader. The spreader, so it's pretty like self-explanatory. So what we want to do is run the spreader underneath the spine. It's going to hold it together. If you if you put it on top, then when it's up in the air, because this the spine and the spreader are going to be facing the sky, and this is going to be the part that's underneath where your string is attached. So if this is above, it'll kind of bow up, and there's nothing to really hold it in check. So you want to run it underneath of the spine through into the little guide holes on the wing tips and you see it'll kind of bend it'll kind of arc down like that when you put it in right and that's just right because then when you go to fly the kite it'll be like that and this the spinal it'll push up against the spine and kind of hold each other together so then the only other step with this one there's a couple more steps but it's gonna be pretty easy we um, this little kite comes with a tail, it's a two-piece tail, and what this is going to do is kind of stabilize the kite. So we've got different kind of kites, and uh, like kites like this that just have one string coming off when we tie it, it's just going to have the one string there, and it's kind of a small kite. So we're going to attach this tail, and that's going to give it some stability so it'll actually fly and just hang, hang up in the air for you. Now, they also make stunt kites. And what you're gonna do when you attach this, just put it right through the hole like that. And then you're gonna put it back in here. Uh, you'll see stunt kites like in Ocean City or at the Kite Loft on the beach. Like, and those are the ones where it's got two cords and people pull it and they go and they dart all around. But um, this is kind of a you know simpler kite. You could tie it on your beach chair or on a fence post. And once you get it up flying, it'll just kind of hover up in the air and look pretty. So, um, but that's that. Once you get the tail attached, right, you're, you're all set, right, like that. It's just going to ripple and keep your kite balanced. Now, the last thing we have to do, we want to tie our string onto the kite. And these ones are convenient. They already have this loop made for you, which is going to make this a lot easier. Um, I'm going to show you one little knot you can do. It's kind of like a slip knot. Um, but you can just, look, you can do the most generic knot in the world where you just put it through and just, you know, keep doing the pretzel over and over again until you feel happy about it. You can do that. It's not the end of the world. But here's a nice, easy knot. What you want to do is take your string like this and you just want to kind of fold it over, make your own loop there like that. And then you run that loop right through this loop. Okay, grab the end. Take it through, take this end where the where it's bent, pull it through like this, and then just push it right through the circle. And then 
you grab the original string, you just pull it like that. And it's kind of like a slip knot. Uh, then you just kind of cinch it down and it'll tighten up. Oh lord. I'm getting all tangly here today. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, look, this could happen to you too. That's just how it's going to be with this little kind of thin string. Just twist up. But anyway, it's, it's tied. You just cinch it down until it's tight and you're good to go. If you want to take scissors and trim off the little hanging, you know, like this little hanging bit, you can do that. But it's, it's not really going to hurt the kite. Um, obviously, if you do trim it off, it'll be that tiny bit more aerodynamic. But it's like I said, with a kite like this, you're not doing any fancy tricks. You're just going to get it up in the air. But see, now you get it like this. Got your little handle, and what you're going to do is kind of get it about this length here, and you go outside and just kind of, you just kind of want to hold it right here and kind of pull it as you walk, get a little wind under it, and then as the wind starts to, you start to feel the wind pulling it, then you're just going to go like that and let more and more string out, and then just keep letting it get up into the air. And then once you have it up where, you get it just up, you know, where it's just kind of hovering there where you want it. Also, kids, just. Grab, uh, grab some markers and color it. Like I said, the spine and the spreader, put them on top so when you color it, color on the other side. That'll be the side that's facing you. And the sunlight will be shining through it and it'll look really pretty. You just decorate it however you want. Well, that was uh, just a quick kite tour and be on the lookout for uh, down the road. We'll do a more intensive kite building seminar here at the Ward Museum. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Y'all take care. Be safe. Thank you.